Hey guys, Mike here. Well, today I'm going to be addressing a problem here that is very interesting to me, and I believe the case is capacitance. Now, this is a cheap little static phase converter I got off eBay about a year ago for $85. And it says it's good up to 1 to 5 horsepower. So, it's good anywhere from 1 to a 5 horsepower motor. But that proves to be bullshit and very weird, because this motor here is a Rockwell. This is a 1 horsepower motor. And this is a 1 horsepower motor. The only difference is it can start this motor fine, but it can't start this motor. And it'll hum, and it'll spin a bit, and I tried spinning it up more, but it just won't go, and it'll really get hot. So I'll show you now that this one is good. I need to get a cover for this. Yeah, you should not do that. I'm going to get a uh, thing for that. But anyway, I'll show you now that this motor will, in fact, spin up just fine. <sighs> God damn, all the sawdust. Uh, and it also has a lot of torque. See that? Quiet motor. And it also spins down just fine. But this motor, which I'll show you now, has some issues. So I'm going to unplug this real quick so I can now hook up my next... What the fuck am I talking about? I'll just unplug this. Oh yeah, also, this... If this is set to on, that's for extra boost. So I wonder if that capacitor will help it boost anymore. Uh, nah, doesn't really make a difference. That's, that's another thing I don't get. I also hooked that wire up in there to activate the extra capacitor, but I don't, I don't understand. So let me do this really quickly. Come on. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Alright, uh, I'm going to hook this motor up now, and I'll show you what's going on here. Try and do this as quick as I can. You know, if my editing software worked, I'd do some jump cuts here, but we have technical difficulties, so... And I'm not going to do it on the fucking laptop, because... It's just a pain in the ass to sit with it and do all that crap. Don't mind me, I bicker a lot. Yeah, so this motor is good. That motor is good, and it'll get hot after a while because it's not rated for 240, it's rated for 208 only, so running the extra voltage will get it warm. But let me show you this interesting motor. Now, this motor runs fine on true three phase and off of the VFD. But, when it comes to this, we have issues, which I'll turn it this way just so we can notice those issues just a bit more. And, you'll see what I mean in a second. All my wires hooked up here. You shall see what I mean in a second. Did I just get, uh, what the f Pff, oh wow. Where'd that come from? You fired! Infected cut! Don't mind me. Joke going around construction class. You fired! Uh, I don't know how I got that. Alright, one more wire to hook up and we're good to go here. Now you shall see the problem with this one. This morning it's really hot after a couple of tries, so I'm going to show you once, and then twice with the extra capacitor, and then me spinning it up. Alright. Here it is. Is that good? Alright, here this this is the problem. See that? Now watch this. Also, spin it up some. And it does that. And that's with the extra capacitor boost on too. I don't understand what's going on there, and it's already gonna get a bit warm. See that's what I don't get. Off. Same shit. Extra capacitor on. Now it's going the other way. What the fuck? Hold on. And if you spin it up, I'm gonna spin it fast. Oh wow. 
and she's trying, but it just can't, it just can't start. I'm not going to fry it. But that is my issue, if anyone could help. I just don't understand. I really do not. And I've checked the connections for the extra capacitor in there, and they check out okay. So maybe one of the little wires could be pulled out. That's a possibility. But if it starts that one horsepower motor, then why would it not start this one? Let's just do not get that. But yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, mic out.